All right, let's go ahead and begin. Welcome everyone to Atera's mobile app webinar. Thank you so much for joining and viewing this webinar today. This is going to be a quick uh, overview, kind of a walkthrough through the uh, mobile app. So it can be relevant for anyone, whether you're an MSP, an IT department, looking to start using the mobile app. If you're already using it, we'll take a deeper look into uh, the mobile app. And if you're not using it, then hopefully it'll give you um, some motivation to consider uh, giving it a try. Awesome. So let's quickly go over the agenda for today. We're going to start by talking about why to use the mobile app from the start, where you can find the mobile app to download it, and then we'll jump into the live demo, where we're going to go ahead, go over settings and configurations, customers and devices, and of course, alerts and tickets, and the different functionalities you have around those. Great. So why to use the mobile app from the start? And kind of by downloading the um, app and using it, you can solve problems before they happen on the go. You can view your clients and contact them directly from the app. You can also solve alerts, use the device console for any information, and even remote into devices directly from your phone. So it's really useful if you um, plan to use the mobile app to have these um, functionalities really in your pocket and take it with you anywhere you go, not have to open up a, a computer or a desktop. Of course, coming soon within the app, we have um, the ability to run scripts, to uh, share scripts, to load scripts, and the password manager will also be out soon. Great, so to download the app, you can um, download it through the iOS App Store or through Google Play. So that's all available for you. And just a general thing, a general note about Atera is that we regularly develop a new version of our software every three weeks in, in fact. And this includes the mobile app. So in each, in each version, you'll find ideas that came directly from feature requests. Our community is a significant and valuable tool for us. So if you have any suggestions for ideas for new features, please add them to the features board. This of course includes ideas for the mobile app. So hopefully you guys have some cool ideas for us to uh, consider developing in the future. And through this constant communication we have with customers, we're able to determine what they would like to see developed in future versions of the platform. Thank you. Let's go ahead and dive into um, the live demo where I will uh, go over the um, mobile app. Let me just go ahead and share screen quickly. I'm also gonna turn off my camera just so I don't distract anyone. Let's bring up the correct screen here. There you go. Hopefully you guys can see um, the mobile app. I'll turn off the camera. Great. Let me just get rid of Zoom here, move it out of the way. Looks like we're ready to go. So the first item within um, the mobile app that we'll talk about is on the bottom right, the settings. So I highly recommend you guys go over these settings and configure them before you start using the app. The first item for you to notice is the notifications. Um, so you have control over notifications coming from the app. You can use this toggle to turn on notifications. And then you have a little bit of granularity here for which type of notifications you wanna see. So whether it be alerts, whether critical or warning, and of course, within tickets, if you want to um, receive a notification when an assigned ticket is updated or when a new ticket is created, you have those options here as well. Next come languages. We have English, French, and German available for you in the app. And then we have a couple of links here to our legal information um, of Atera. So those are available for you as well. Great, so those were the settings. Let's take a look at the customer page. So head over to customers. Right here, you have a search bar to search for the specific customer you're looking for. And you can always scroll down and find the customer that you want to deal with. So let me go ahead and choose some populated customer that I have here on my account. Let's head over to McCarthy. Great, so the different tabs that you have within the customer level are right here. And uh, the first tab is general where you have the customer logo, the address and the phone number of the customer. If you click on um, this location uh, logo right here, it'll bring you into Google Maps to find the location of the customer. Easy for you to navigate there directly. There you go. Let me head back to the home page, to the Otera, apologies. So that took me to um, Google Maps, and of course, phone, it'll let me uh, call the customer directly from here. So also very useful for you to contact your customers. The next tab is the device tab, where you will have a list of all the devices under this customer, followed by the tickets page. These are all the tickets that are associated to the specific customer, where if you click on a ticket and enter it, you will be able to view the ticket itself and also edit it. Of course, you have an option to create a ticket from here for this customer, and you can also have different options to filter the view that you are viewing under the customer level in tickets. 
The last tab here is contacts where you will have the option under more options here to email or call this customer. Brilliant. So that was the customer page. Let's go ahead and enter a device under a customer. So under devices, I'm going to just choose this device that I have online. So the different tabs that you have for the device, similar to customer, are going to be right here. And the first tab is general information. So availability monitoring, devices online, work group, last seen, logged, logged user, last reboot time, IP address, and customer. These are all uh, information that is available. And then you can see this big button to connect. This will allow you to have remote access directly from your phone using Splashtop. So really, you can remote into the device on the go. And this is one of the biggest um, advantages, in my opinion, in having the mobile app. Next come alerts that are associated with this device. So this is similar to the alerts page, but this is just under a specific device. You have um, more options under every alert to resolve or snooze an alert. And of course, clicking the arrow will show you more um, information regarding this alert. Next comes software information, which is followed by hardware information as well, vendor, motherboard, processor, all of that is available for you as well. And lastly, disk information. Almost forgot to mention that at the top right, you have more options under the device level, which will give you the different options to either log out, restart, or shut down the device. Awesome. So that was um, the device console within the mobile app. Let's go ahead and take a look at the alerts page on the bottom left. This will show you a breakdown of all the alerts that you have across your system at the moment. And then it'll show you also by color, the type of alert that's coming in, the time of the alert. And if you click on these arrows, of course, you can see the information under the alert and the agent that's associated with the alert. If I click on the agent here, if I tap on that, it'll take me to the agent console. Under more options, similar to the customer level, you have the option to resolve or snooze these alerts. Great. Let's take a look at the tickets page. So under the tickets page, you will see the tickets under all of your um, customers, under all of your system, really, that you are um, in charge of. And you also have the option to create a ticket and to filter this view. You can filter according to status. You can filter assignee and priority. These are all available for you. And you also have a reset button if you regret any of these filters. Great. So right here, you can kind of tap that and scroll and drag just like any application and view the different tickets. Let's go ahead and enter a ticket. Let's click on uh, this ticket that we have right here. So you can see the ticket timer has started automatically. This of course can be configured from um, the settings on the uh, portal itself. Under more options, you can add a time entry, which will give you the option um, to add a time entry and all the details regarding the time entry. You also have the option to um, add a customer signature for your customer and the information on the ticket, the ticket iteration number, the customer, the ticket name, the times, um, what is the status of this ticket, and you can add the message to the ticket from here. Also, the option to add any attachment. Right here, you can choose if it is a public reply or an internal note. Heading back to um, the details, let's go ahead and take that down. You can click on details within the ticket and here you'll see more information about the end user. So who is this end user, the email, the phone. If it was here, you can click and call the user. You can click and email the user from here. And of course the properties of the ticket. So if you want to solve the ticket, you can go ahead and click on ticket status, change it to closed or solved, whatever fits um, the way that you are working. Of course, the other properties are also available here. Brilliant, so that is um, the tickets page. Just wanted to quickly show show before uh, we end uh, the session that you can create a new ticket, give it a title, select the customer, the contact. Really, you can have all um, the options that you have within the ticket system in the portal itself. Just this is an easier way to do it on the go from your phone. If you're on site, if you're not on site, no matter where you are, you can really uh, create these tickets and manage them on the go. So that can be super, super helpful for you. Awesome, so let's head back to the presentation. Great, so hopefully you guys can see the presentation again. Just wanted to mention, similar to this webinar, um, our success team provides on-demand webinar trainings in other domains of our solution. Network discovery, patching, advanced RMM and PSA trainings and more. There are also live webinars and live Q&A sessions. Please follow uh, the webinars page in our Facebook group for more information uh, regarding these live open hour sessions for you to join and ask any questions you may have regarding any domain within the solution. 
Of course, for any other resources you may be looking for, you can always visit our Enhanced Knowledge Base Facebook group. And if needed, you can also open a live chat with our support team. Great. So once again, thank you, everyone, for joining me today. And um, hopefully we'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.